What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're going to be drawing the ghost freak from Ben 10. Let's get started at the very top of our page with the outside edge of the head. So we start on the left side, I'm going to draw a large half oval. Starting from the left, curve up to the top, round this out, and then come down on the right side. Now we want to bend out the bottom edge of the head. So start back on the left side, blend to a curve going down and then out. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Now let's add in the eye. From the center, we're going to move over towards the right and draw a small oval, starting from the top, work our way around to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. And then in the center of that oval, draw a small black dot for the pupil. Let's add the opening around the eye. We're going to start on the left side, start with a curve going around just the left side of the eye to right about there. Go back to the top, curve up, and then over towards the left. From this top point, we're going to curve out and down towards the right. And we're going to curve this up towards the top right of the head. Let's go down to the bottom. From here, we're going to curve out and then down. And we're going to curve this up towards the left side of the head. Let's go back up to the top. On the right side, we're going to curve in and then down. We're going to follow this curve going up towards the inside. Now we're going to curve around the eye. Going out on the right side and then pulling that in. And then we're going to taper this down towards the bottom and then curl out towards the right. I'm going to follow this curve going up and out towards the left side of the head. Let's fill the inside area in black. Now we're going to add a fold around the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. Starting up here, we're going to curve around the eye and then pull that in. We're going to do an overlap. We're going to step back, curve down, and then back in. Let's go to the right side. Starting up here, we're going to curve in the opposite direction, just around the side of the eye. Now we're going to leave a gap for the arms and draw the side of the body. So from the left side, we're going to step down. Right here, we're going to curve in and then down. We're going to bend this over towards the right side. So we're going to a curve going out, and at the end, we'll just hook this back down. Let's go over towards the right side. Start by curving down and in. Now the body's going to start to taper as we come down towards the bottom. Blend it to a curve going back out towards the right. Now we're going to pull the body back in. So from here, we're going to curve down and then back over towards the left. Let's go up to the top, we're going to do an overlap. Stepping up, come down, and then out. And we're just going to curl this back around towards the right. Now we're going to add one more fold. From here we're going to step over, curve down underneath the left side, and then up. And we're just going to tuck this in underneath this fold. Curve in, and then back up. Let's add a few veins along the bottom. Starting out here, start with a curve, coming down and up, and do another curve, coming down and back up. Then a couple more on the end, starting here, out and in, do that one more time. And we'll add one more curve on the outside. Let's move back up and draw on the arms. We start with the upper arm first, from the bottom of the head, we're going to step up, curve out, and then down towards the elbow. Line this up on the right, we're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to add a point in the elbows. From here, curve out, and then up. And then from the tip of the elbow, we're going to curve down and in towards the wrist. So let's start on the left. Curve down, and we're just going to pull that in. Let's go back to the left side. I'm going to overlap the palm on top of the arm. Step up, curve over, and then back in. 
do the same thing on the right. Stepping in, curving out, and then back in. Now let's add in the fingers. From the bottom of the palm, we're going to step up, draw a straight angled line coming down. Now we're going to draw the tip of the finger. We're going to step back to create an overlap, curve out, and over. Now we're going to work our way back in, curving in the opposite direction towards the knuckle. And then we'll draw a straight line going back in towards the hand. Now we're going to do the same thing over on the right side. From the bottom of the palm, we'll step up, angle down and out. Step back up, curve out and down towards the tip. And then we're just going to work our way back in and then up. Let's add the second finger. From here, we're going to come straight down, do an overlap, stepping up, curving out and then down. We're going to pull that back up and straight up towards the hand. Let's do the same thing on the right. Straight down, step up, curve out and down. Pull it back in and then up. And we're going to add one more finger. This time we're going to come in with a straight line, do an overlap, go down and in, up. I'm just going to pull this in with a short angled line. Do the same thing on the right. Come down and in, step back, up to the top. I'm just gonna pull that in with a straight line. Now the top of the hand is gonna bend up towards the wrist. So let's take this line, curve around, and then in. We're gonna round out the wrist and curve up, aiming towards the elbow. Rounding this out, and just stopping right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Rounding out the wrist, curving this out. And then we'll close off the bottom of the arm. I want to create an overlap from the forearm to the body. So stepping down, we'll curve up and then in. Now let's add some detail to the body. We're going to start with that opening across the body. We're going to start at the top of the right arm. Starting up here, we're going to curve down and then across. We're going to round this out and then come down. Now it's going to pull this up towards the left side of the body. I'm going to round this out and then come back up. Let's go back up towards the right side. We're going to step over. We're going to pinch this line in and then come down. I'm going to round this out and then go up towards this curve. Now we're going to pull this back over towards the right. We're going to curve down and then out. Let's go back to the left side. From here, we're going to curve up. I'm going to follow this same curve coming down towards the right side. Now we're going to tuck a circle in behind these two curves. So let's start with the top. I'm going to curve up and then down. I'm going to come down to curve in the opposite direction. Coming down and then up. And we'll add the symbol. Starting from the top, draw a straight line coming down. Leave a gap. Come all the way down towards the bottom. Now from here we're going to go across towards the left, and across towards the right. Let's fill the inside area in black. Let's add a fold around the outside. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up and across, and we'll go in the opposite direction, just down below. Let's add another trim along the bottom. We start on the left side, curve across and then up. Now we're going to step down, curve out and then down towards the point. Curve this back up towards the right. And again, we're going to fill this in black. We'll go over towards the left arm, starting on the outside, we're going to curve up, and we're going to bend that down towards the inside. We're going to step down and just trace that from top to bottom, and then again, filling that in black.
Now let's move over to the right. Starting here, go up and across, go over. Now we're going to taper this out so it gets a little bit wider on the outside of the arm. And we'll move down to the forearm, starting on the inside, curve out and up. Step down, we'll curve in the opposite direction. Let's add one more across the wrist. Starting up here, we're going to curve up and then down just up above the wrist. Step up, we got that twice, and fill that in. And finally, I'm just going to add one more vein on the left side. So at the bottom of the arm, we'll curve up and out. Curve in and then back up. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Ghost Freak from Ben 10. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.